Good morning all. New printed circuit boards from JLC PCB, sealed in box. So let's break the seal and take a look at this. Oh, <laughs> how ironic. I have the same gift as what I've got already on my desk. Yes, these are nail clippers in case you were wondering. That's what they are. Right, here are the boards. Now, if you've been watching the last couple of videos on these boards, you'll know that I had them made by JRCPCB's SMT assembly service. In fact, you watched me do the schematic capture, as they call it, the schematic design, and then the PCB layout. And then I ordered them and it's been about four or five days, I guess, but here they are. So what have we got? We've got um, an LD33 regulator. We've got LED and, and I still don't know the color of this. So we'll find that out today. And that was a 1K resistor, I believe. We can have a closer look at that in a moment. Capacitors, of course, these aren't marked, but we can see by their varying heights. That's surely the 10 microfarad. Uh, this must be the 100N. And these must be the 10Ns. And that's it, that's all that's on there. This is the connector. Oh, and I've just received, uh, I'll bring that into shot in a moment, the four by two connector for that. I've got some angled pins for that. So it shouldn't take long to plug this into my Arduino board, which is this, and it's working. I changed the battery in the shed yesterday and uh, see if this works. I hope it does. Yeah, someone was selling 20 of these things, UK seller, because I needed to get them quite quickly. And there isn't such a price difference these days between local sellers and Chinese sellers, because we're getting all the VAT and postage costs now from China. So that's good. I can solder that into... Let's take one of these off, actually. Oh, that one. I can solder that into uh, the connector at the top. I'll find a right angle connector and then we're kind of done. And I still want to see what colour that LED is. Okay, look, I'm going to come clean. I just cheated. <laughs> I just cheated and I put 5 volts onto the ground and VCC. And it's a blue LED. And actually, that's surprisingly bright. Uh, yes, 5 volts. There's 3.3 .3 on the output. 3.3 with a 1K resistor. You wouldn't have thought that would be very bright, but uh, that's more than bright enough. Well, that's a good start. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed something. These boards are green, and I did say in the two design videos, or the second design video, that I was going to order them in black. So I've just gone onto my JLC PCB account, and yes, I did indeed order them in green. So I got that wrong. That's a bit of a slip up. I mean, it really doesn't matter at all. It's purely aesthetic. But yeah, I made a mistake there and ordered. I didn't change the uh, colour box at the last minute. Oh, well, never mind. The important thing is that they work. So let's have a five way right angle connector so that my radio tower sits vertically. Uh, that's soldered in now, so I can put this in and see how it looks in terms of centering. It's not too bad I don't think I've quite got it centered but it's not far off I wanted a bit of an offset on that connector so that the thing looked reasonably symmetrical of course we've got that capacitor sticking out the edge of the uh, wireless board anyway right let's get my right angle connector in plug it into my board see if it will oh I've got a two pin connector as well right that's ready to go so let's take out the old radio tower uh, and I've got to remember that I'm working from D13 to D9, so I'm going to be biased that way with my 5-pin connector. Uh, VCC and ground I've marked on there, so it says ground VCC. That means grey is ground, purple is VCC on here. That plugs in there, and that is my new radio tower with built-in 3.3 volt regulator 
to drive the NRF 24LO1 Plus uh, wireless board. Now this is powered by 3.3 volts, but it has five volt tolerant signal lines. Of course, all these signals coming in off the Arduino are five volts in swing, but um, the unit itself runs on 3.3. So that's it, should we plug it in? No rehearsal, let's do it live and see if it works. So if you'd like a $10 PCB plus SMD assembly uh, discount coupon, then go to this page. Link is in the description below. And uh, do join the Facebook JLC PCB Easy EDA page. I've joined it. Here I am on that group, currently 396 members. Do join that. The uh, link to that is also in the description below. I can see a blue light on there. Hey, away we go. So we're getting telemetry data from the shed. Now, I guess what I could do is make up another one of these and actually put it in the transmitter. Let me go and get the transmitter. I'll bring it in from the shed. Actually, I've just noticed that the Arduino Nano has a red power LED. Uh, the Nano expansion board has a yellow power LED. Uh, the TTP223 touch sensor has a green power LED. And my radio tower has a blue power LED. The full set. So that's my radio receiver. Here is my transmitter. Let's move the receiver out for a moment. There's the transmitter. Now it's in two parts. I've got a big 4 amp hour power tool battery. I've got the USB header that goes with that. That incidentally is fairly warm, which probably explains why this, why this thing only runs for four days off that massive battery. Quite a comparison to the little um, uh, Zigbee devices I've been playing with recently, which are designed to run off a 2032 coin cell for, I don't know, a year or something. But anyway, here's my radio tower. Uh, now the only thing is, this one's quite long and the power's quite high up. So, I just, actually I might be able to push that down. I'll try pushing that down and getting my new radio tower in there. Right, let's take the power out of this one. Remove the radio tower. Take out its VCC and ground. Uh, VCC is red. Take out, this is all covered in cobwebs because it's been in the shed. Plug it into my new board. Plug that in with D13 in the correct place. And now, as I say, I might be able to slide that down, pull that through, and now get ground and VCC, which is that way around. Can we see what's going on? That way around onto my power connector. That's the little, um, or oh, what is it? Uh, yes, it's the SI7021 temperature and humidity sensor, which is I squared C, I believe. The NRF radio, of course, is SPI, which is why it's using D13 down to D9. I think 13, 12 and 11 are the hardware SPI pins. Uh, this three pin connector here goes to the relay board because uh, this has a relay to control switching on and off the fan. But that should be it. So let's bring the receiver back into shot, put the transmitter there and reconnect the power. If it will reach, it will now. Plug it in, oh, switch it on. And is it transmitting? Yes, I think it is. So it looks like my radio tower board is a success. Uh, the LED is blue, if anyone was wondering that particular LED that I chose. Uh, I made these green by mistake. Never mind, I can live with that. The original proto boards were green after all. And uh, this video is probably quite short compared to my normal videos because having the components put on for you does make life a lot easier. Now I was gonna have a look at that resistor. So let's see if we can do that. Can we see that? It's an, a 01B 
marking which I vaguely remember as being 1k but uh, yeah that's it it's pretty straightforward hopefully that's the end of my radio tower project thank you for sticking with me on this one cheerio